So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I was contacted by an old friend that runs an Instagram channel called Mikey Rides and he rides wheelies all over the place on his bike. But he contacted me wanting me to build him a sculpture or a little stick figure of uh, a character riding a bike. So that's the plan today. And we collaborated a little bit and we came up with some ideas and I think I know the direction I want to go. So I've gathered some of the parts. I need to get some steel still or a little bit of wire for the, for the body and whatever. But I have a bunch of chain that I'm going to use to build the wheels. And I have a cool thing for the head. I've seen this done on the internet before where they use a piston for the head with some face engraved it on it, engraved it. So that's what I'm gonna do. I think it should be pretty cool. Um, and I just happen to have an old motor from a mini bike. I don't know what kind of motor this is, but I'm gonna pull that apart, pull the piston out of it. Hopefully it's steel or if it's aluminum which would be cool because I could actually engrave it a lot easier. I'll find a way to mount it to the body. So first we're gonna pull the piston out of this and use that. And then I'm gonna use the table to draw the guy. It's gonna be roughly, you know, 12 to 16 inches tall and mounted on some type of base I haven't figured out yet. So I uh, will draw that and then I will build it according to those dimensions whatever looks good so stay tuned and check out mikey rides on instagram and see what you think of his content i think it should be i think you get a kick out of it it's pretty cool old fart riding wheelies all right let's get to it So there is the piston and that's what I need. I'm not even sure how to get it out. I've never taken a motor apart. So works pretty good. Oh yeah. That's what I'm going after. This is definitely aluminum. Hopefully that piece in there is steel, which I think it is. I'll just weld to that. Cool. And I'll deal with the rest of this later. I'll save it for future projects. sketch you gave me trying to get there so the next plan is I'm gonna get the wheels built they seem like the biggest part of the bike and it'll help me determine the ratio of this guy so what I'm gonna do is use this old grinding wheel to get the right circumference of the wheel and I'll start welding that together so let's do that. to drill out these holes, stick that hub in there, and then stick the spokes in. And I believe I should be able to solder the brass in with silver solder. I may be able to hit it with the MIG, which would be awesome. 
um, but I think the make might be a little too hot and melt the brass before I'm able to do that. But we'll see how it goes. So drill the nuts and then cut these brass pieces down and get the wheels built. And the back wheels have to be pretty sturdy because that is holding up the whole sculpture. So let's drill these out, see what happens. <laughs> So the drill bit I need is three eighths, but the drill bit I used before is bent, so it's messing it up. So let's see. Got a little holes in there. Put that in there. Let's do the next one. Got it. Hope I can get all these drilled before battery dies in the GoPro. Two of six. Ooh, dang it, that's hot! Four percent battery. Made it. Alrighty. These are the hubs for the wheels. Okay, it is day dose and I left off with the wheels need to be built so that's what I'm going to try to do first so I end up getting this brass brazing rod and I am going to try to make the spokes out of that I would love to be able to MIG weld them but I have a feeling that when I try to MIG weld them it will just melt because it's roughly the same temperature uh, as the welder it takes to melt those things the plan is to cut them up, build the wheels, and then I'll get to building the bike frame. Dose inches. And the reason I went with brazing rod, or this brass rod, is I wanted a little contrast with the metal. So instead of just having all a silver looking metal, I'll have a little gold in there. I was thinking about going with copper, but... And this was stuff I was like... Expensive. It's had like 20 bucks for this, so I think I'm using it no matter what. It would be super cool if I could just weld the ends here. So let's weld this, let's stick some tacks in these wheels and see what happens. If not, I will have to braze it. I should have everything to do that, so weld on. So it went together. Seems like it worked. I'm gonna stick the rest of those in there and see if I can get this wheel built. center that if it's out of center Next, I'm going to finish building the bike frame. You can see I've got the down tube, got the headset, have the seat post, do a top tube, and then the back end of the bike.
Right now, I take this bicycle chain, squish it together, I'm gonna weld it, and this will actually be the body of the bicycle rider. Don't touch that, it's hot. I burned myself like eight times today. Sure, exactly what it's gonna look like. I feel like the body right now is too small, but I'm just gonna weld it, see what happens. The arms look like they'd be really long but I'm just gonna go with it, see what happens. So that's the next step. Get some material, weld the body in place, get some material to make the arms and the legs and go. Did you love when that happens? I'm gonna weld that in a little bit better. Thanks. So in order to get the, the right proportions for the body, I really think I need to mount this to the platform, to the base. So I'm gonna mount this to the base by welding a tiny stud. Hopefully, the stud will fit in there. And weld a tiny stud, slide that down, and then weld it from the top side. I don't wanna see a weld on the base, really, so. Let us do that. I think that is the right way to go. nasty I'm gonna grind them out and redo them but it'll be all right for now I really love how this is coming out I think it's like really capturing what a bike rider looks like yeah I'm pretty excited about that really really like it what do you think all right a little more work to do yeah love this stuff all right need another arm i've got the bike for the most part done but i am missing the head so i need to do the head and what i'm going to do is one of these pistons which i'm sure you've seen on the internet before but i have literally never done this before so i have no clue what i'm doing but i'm just gonna wing it i think it'll be all right i'm using the dremel which i found in the cellar with this i don't know jewelry attachment or whatever and i am going to grind or scribe or whatever a face into this piston and hopefully it looks good but like i said this will be the first time i've ever tried this so hopefully it goes good because i only have one piston and i have no other option if i wreck this thing i don't have a clue what i'm gonna do <laughs>
to get the head put on. The sculpture is done. Here it is. You wouldn't really believe how long this thing takes, but I think it came out really well. Pretty happy with it. Let me know what you think.